Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, who were they? Matthew who? Mark who? Luke who? And John who? What were their last names? When did they write? Did they know Jesus Christ? Did they walk with Jesus Christ? Did they eat with Jesus Christ? Did they talk with Jesus Christ? Did they even meet Jesus Christ? The answer is no, 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 no. Conclusively. The earliest of them that wrote, wrote 40 years after Jesus Christ, so they never met him. The last of them wrote 80 years after Jesus Christ, never met him. The other thing is, all of them seem to have written the gospel according to, according to, according to, according to. Now, when you write a letter, do you sign it according to? According to is the third party. If Joanne or Jackie or Bobby or Johnny told me something and I wrote it, I would say according to Joanne, Jackie, Bobby or Ronnie, according to. But those four people would not write a letter and in front of it say Jackie according to Jackie and not even write her last name. Because if Jackie wrote me a check and only said Jackie, I couldn't cash it. And if I was a policeman and I stopped Jackie on the road and she had a license that only said Jackie, she's going to jail. <laughs> Where in the world is a document with only one name of four different writers that did not meet the one whom they're writing about? Where is that accepted in the whole world? Nowhere except in the Bible. And the church fathers and the church writers and the Christian historians, they all agree that perhaps those four writers themselves were only pen names. Because a writer would not write his only, his first name according to. And there's a great amount of suspicion that the man called Paul, Saul of Tarsus, that because he wrote all the books from Acts all the way to the end of the New Testament, how many books is that? How many? 16, 15, 17, 19? All the books of Acts on Colossians, Ephesians, Corinthians, Romans, Galatians, all of those books are written by whom? Paul, Saul of Tarsus, another man who never walked, who never talked, who never met, who never ate, who never prayed, who never knew Jesus Christ. Isn't that something? Now here we find four writers and another one between them that wrote all the New Testament books that never talked, never walked, never ate, never prayed, never met the man called Jesus Christ. Yet, in their words, the first mentioning of the Trinity came from where? From Jesus or from them? The first mentioning of Jesus being divine, a man God, came from whom? From them. The first mentioning that Jesus is the Son of God came from whom? From them. Jesus never said in his own words, any such words. But it was the men who never met him, who claimed to have written, who didn't know their last names. And Paul, by the way, before he had that vision on the road to Damascus that only he saw and only he heard, guess what his occupation was? Do you know? He was a bounty hunter, a hunter of Christians hunting them down like animals, binding them and bringing them to where? To Rome so that they could be executed. Now if Hitler, after killing thousands of Jews, said that on the road to Berlin, he had a vision that he was named an apostle to the Jews and he wrote 20 books that all the Jews are supposed to follow, 
Do you think they would be following that book? I don't understand how people just don't read history. This is not what Khalid said, so don't get angry with me. This is your own scripture, your own Bible scholars, the own church fathers. All of them agree that Paul never met Jesus, that Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John never met Jesus. By the way, they were not disciples. Nor were they walkers and talkers of the disciples. They were just writers and historians.